before but each time it just blows me away so it's gorgeous we're just getting our luggage right now and then we have a car waiting for us outside we're just gonna go to the hotel check in and sleep because babes 1 30 a.m eight hour flight that it's not a cute mix so yeah i'm excited to be here hopefully our luggage comes quickly and we can just get the heck out of here and go to bed and then yeah i'll catch you guys in the morning Seeing you got ritualistic Cleansing my soul of addiction for now Cause I'm falling So first of all, let's get into the corridors Even the corridors are so aesthetic So stunning We're room number 0814 So then when you enter This is what it looks like This is what it looks like There's like a little entryway And you're met with the kitchen fridge and freezer in here oven everything like that and since we're staying a week i feel like that's really convenient so we can if we need to warm up food or whatever like we can do that here and that's perfect but what's this okay there's like a little cupboard in here and then here is the main bit it's so big like i hope you guys can see like how huge that is it's so beautiful oh my gosh it's got a seating area bed it even has a little mirror here like a little get ready me section okay it's giving youtuber setup right now even has a little blow dryer in there this is perfect and then it has a little dining section here this is my suitcase and my luggage nice size tv and then guys are you ready are you guys ready for this view you guys are not ready for this view oh my gosh okay ready three two one <gasps> yeah. Okay, so the Burj Khalifa is literally right there. And that is the tallest building in the world, just in case y'all didn't know that. <laughs> the view is literally like downtown Dubai. It's so beautiful. And then like we have this whole balcony to ourselves. It's so big. I'm gonna show you again in the daytime, but I was too excited. And then it's even got a pool downstairs like some sun lounges and everything and then it has like another gorgeous view down here with like, i don't know what this is like a river bank or something guys i don't think you can get a better view than this <laughs> baby and then the bathroom and this is the bathroom this is gorgeous so pretty i love the black hardware against the like neutral stone as you can tell, I'm very, very impressed. I'm so happy with this accommodation and I'm so excited for this week. Guys, I do have to say I got my nails done earlier. This is the only negative so far of the trip. I got my nails done in Dubai earlier and it took four hours to do. And please look at these nails. Please look at these nails. Hope, like, it's already chipped. <laughs> and I wasn't even doing anything crazy. And look at this side. What the heck is this, bro? As we all know, I have pretty bad luck with nails, but I just thought, okay, four hours, maybe it's gonna make it make sense. I had to tell her what to do as well. I had to tell her, you know, can the smile lines be bigger? So that's, that was a bit of a dramatic, you know, start, but it's fine because I cannot complain with this accommodation. Like nothing can ruin my trip. So I'm just gonna get them redone tomorrow. Hopefully it's 
better. And guys, I paid £90 for these. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna think about it because we're in Dubai. We're in Dubai, baby. <laughs> so, yeah, I did have plans today to go to like a river dinner, but because my nails took so long to do, first we waited one hour to actually get the appointment, and it took three hours to do. So, I think we missed it now. But we're just gonna have to go tomorrow. But yeah, tonight I think we're just gonna get our bearings, get some food, maybe downtown, have a little walk, and yeah, just let it in, unpack. Yeah, we're gonna unpack as well because it's got a wardrobe, so it's perfect. But yeah, I'm so happy. I feel so blessed and grateful to be here. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so happy. But yeah, all right, cool. I'll see you guys when we find something to do. Okay. Good morning, guys. <laughs> it's so early. What time is it? Half five. It's half five in the morning and we are going on a hot air balloon excursion in the desert. So I'm really excited. What time do we wake up? 4.30. What time do we wake up? No. What time do we wake up? <laughs> quarter to four. Quarter to four. Eh? We woke up at quarter to four for this um, hot air balloon excursion. So I'm so proud of myself because mm -hmm. I managed to beat my face, mm -hmm. outfit, hair, everything ready in. About 30 minutes, I'd say. <laughs> yes. Could do it in the shower. But yeah, no, I literally got ready like, in like half an hour. Anyway, just mm -hmm. give, me, give me my credit when it's due. Did you get it? Uh, this boarding pass is one for each, so one more. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we made it on time, um, and I'm really excited. It's pitch black right now outside. But it's like a sunrise excursion, so I'm so excited for it. I feel like it's one of those like once in a lifetime experiences. So we got picked up um, at a hotel, and then it was a 40 minute drive to the desert. So now we're just waiting for the air balloons to be um, pumped up. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna fly away. I don't know what the word is. <laughs> um, whatever, however they do it. It's too early, it's too early. So sorry, the English is not English. But yeah, I'm excited. And we're gonna get some breakfast as well in the desert. And we're gonna have is it like eagle catching? Girl, we're gonna see because I don't have a clue what's going on. I'll show you guys what we get up to. With this, getting some coffee, yeah. Arabic coffee. Without sugar. Thank you. Coffee? Thank you. Yes, please. Yeah. We have it. Uh, sugar. It's quite strong. It's coffee. I can't believe I'm this beat at 5 a.m. Yeah, five <laughs> Magical. I feel like I'm in a movie. It doesn't feel real. The lighting is hidden. Everything is given. So magical. So stunning. I would highly recommend. 
recommend 10 out of 10. Guys, we finished. I'm the hat. I'm the hat. Oh, a little. English. <laughs> It's <laughs> not your first language. Like, English is actually not my first language. It's my third. So, but um, we just came off the hot air balloon, and it was the top three experiences of my life for sure. It was amazing. I didn't think it'd be that lit. It was so good. Yeah, and now it's only half seven, and I feel like we've done so much already. But we're going to get some food now. So they provide some food. Um, they're gonna drive us to a food place. Then we're gonna go home. Probably take a nap because mm -hmm. we woke up way too early for me. Definitely. I'm anemic. I need my sleep. Okay. It's gorgeous. I'm so happy here. I feel like I'm gonna move to Dubai. Not gonna lie to you. And the people are so nice here. Everyone is so sweet. But yeah, I'll show you guys when we get to the food. I'm hungry. Imagine breakfast in the desert. Can't complain really. So we just arrived for our desert excursion and then here's our cars waiting they look so cool there's like this little hut here which looks super cute love it ready We have arrived from our excursion, our desert excursion. We saw some, we saw Bambi, we saw some gazelles, and now we are going for food for breakfast in this camp. And I'm really excited because I can already smell the food and it smells like it slaps. I hope it's seasoned though, because I didn't come to Dubai to have unseasoned food. Entrance. Hello. Hello. Welcome, please. Yeah. Morning. This is the camp. It's so beautiful. This is the breakfast. Beef, mortadella, some cookies, some bread, some croissants, mozzarella, chicken, beef, smoked salmon. It's giving. So we have breakfast, guys. This is a breakfast of kings. We have some eggs, some fruit, some bread, some croissants, some cheese, beans, everything. It's amazing. So guys, they also have like a little a little hut where you can sleep. If you wanted to stay the night at the desert, this is what it looks like. It's actually really cute. I feel like people are actually staying here. But yeah, it's super cute. It's got a little, little village community. It reminds me of my grandma's village in Africa, I'm not gonna lie. But like just a bit of a bougier version. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, I'm already, uh, Hello, Rossi. <laughs> it's too early, you know, when you pick up the too early. Picture, guys. So, we're back home. I am getting ready. We basically came home and took a nap because we woke up so early. Like I said, we woke up at quarter to 4 a.m. in the morning. So, 4 a.m. Um, and then, and the night before, we didn't even sleep that early. We slept around, like midnight so we literally had like four hours of sleep that was not cute but when i woke up i actually felt okay but just on the way back i started getting so tired we came back around nine o'clock um no we came back around 10 a.m and we, like so yeah i felt like we got so much done so early but so we just took like a two three hour nap and then now i'm just refreshing my makeup um because this is the only issue with traveling with guys 
traveling with boys means that you can't really be taking three hours to do your face and makeup like you can't be taking three hours to get ready and i feel so bad like just making him wait so i'm just refreshing my makeup from from 4 a.m girl the ghetto the ghetto but it's fine tonight we have dinner um oh so i literally just put foundation over my entire face to just like restart the base basically i'm gonna put concealer and all the rest of it but yeah tonight we i am going to get my nails redone because this is trash look at this like i don't know if you can see them properly before but the lady who did them yesterday absolute pagan she actually violated she violated but we move um yeah so i'm just getting ready quickly now i have a nail appointment at five o'clock this uh, nail tech. I actually just found them on Instagram and their stuff looks pretty good so I'm hoping that that will work out because I just cannot be going around to buy without my nails did. Like what? I thought it would be so easy, than, so much easier than this but anyway advice for you guys. If you're coming to Dubai, make sure you have your nails done from home which I normally do to be honest but I just run out of time. I just run out of time and it is what it is but it's a definitely a lesson learned. I will never put myself through this again so far dubai has been incredible I, I love it so much absolutely love it today's experience that hot air balloon experience no my kids will hear of it no i like i felt like it wasn't real like i was I felt like i was in a movie i think the company as well um that run it that we used i think they made it 10 times better as well i'm gonna link them in the description box because they were amazing like the service was oh 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 and we also had like breakfast and a um jeep ride and we saw animals in the desert oh the food at breakfast yo <laughs> even the egg was giving luxury i don't know what kind of chickens they use but boy i feel like those chickens are eating good because <laughs> those eggs tasted amazing that experience was just like nothing i've ever experienced before Anywho's, catch you when I'm ready. I'll show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing a little house of CB number tonight. So it's gonna be a vibe. So guys, my hair and my makeup is complete. I'm so happy with how it turned out. My makeup needs to look like this every day on this trip because honey, the fact that this is a rebeat, like I just spruced up my beat from this morning. I'm very proud of myself. So yes, I'll show you guys my outfit downstairs. Ooh. Baby, I need to take some stories because it's a look. Hey guys, so I'm ready. I just wanted to show you guys my outfit quickly. My outfit is from House of CB. My hair is from Ego Official. And my bag is Jacqueline's. And yeah, go to dinner. <laughs> Killer, 20 out of 10 from me and I'll definitely go again I actually want to go again before we go back home but yeah we're just at the pier now and it's giving rich it's giving luxury it's so beautiful and it's still nice and warm even though it's like 11 p.m. but yes I love Dubai um, we're going home now though because we're because we've got a spa tomorrow at around 11 o'clock we've got a spa day so we just want to be well rested for that but yes, um, really enjoying myself and good night for me.
Good morning. Uh, we just woke up not long ago and it's another beautiful day in Dubai. I have got some AC blowing in my face right now, which feels so nice because it's such a nice warm day outside. Like the scenes that I'm seeing right now, you guys. Mark my words, I'm going to live in Dubai at some point in my life for a few months, definitely. But um, um, yeah, today we are going to a spa. I've got a little spa day booked. My man's actually booked this, so I don't even know where we're going. Um, I think he's booked some massages, which is just what I need right now. I'm literally living my lady of leisure dreams because my man is just booking um, dinners, booking spa days. Like, this is the life that I deserve. Do you know what I mean? the life I deserve but um yeah and oh <laughs> we've got a cheeky Rolls Royce today he also booked a Rolls Royce for the day so this is the first time being in a Rolls and it's <laughs> giving what it needs to give the red interior Oof. <laughs> but yeah so this is what I'm looking at right now look at the scenes ah oh, so beautiful so I'll show you guys when we get to the spa um and uh, we have a dinner booked today as well in the evening so that'll be nice and then maybe we'll do something afterwards yesterday we actually did end up doing something um after dinner we just um we asked the waiter like what is somewhere that plays afro beats and he was like oh upstairs there's a, like a little bar and it was really nice and i um the dj there was a dj there so i requested mona lisa because that's my favorite song right now my favorite afro beat song and he actually played it so that made my night and we we're just dancing we're only, we stayed for like an hour and then we went to sleep because we are old people but tonight Excuse me, I wanted to stay out, but somebody wanted, wanted to, to go out. home. You're like, you're now I was done. I was so ready to sleep. I was ready to sleep. I was ready to sleep. But it's because my body's still getting used to the time here. Um, I feel like because it's four hours ahead, so my my body at eleven it said I'm out. Excuse me, but yeah. Oh, look at the scenes. One more, one more time for the scenes. One more time for the scenes, babes. Wow, <laughs> it's the dash for me. It's the double R for me. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll show you guys when we get to the spa. Tension between us, just like big fences. You got issues that I want. So we just got to the spa. It's so beautiful in here. Um, even the lobby, oh, stunning. And as soon as you walk in, it smells so beautiful. The next about Dubai, like every building just has its own unique fragrance and it's so beautiful. Very much different experience to the UK. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we've got to give them a little locker room here. So I'm gonna change and then we're gonna go for our massage. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Not on my lace. <laughs> so we just finished our uh, massage and we've got a gold like face mask. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. But yeah, we got ushered into this section where you just like relax and they gave us some fruit, some dates and some tea. This is the view. This is the area. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. And there's like a pool down there also. Like the beach is here. So I think we might try and get some lunch down there or something. You guys, this is not real. So stunning. I can't even do it. And the massages were so good. They were um, 70 minutes, but they, it literally flew by. I felt like 20 minutes and I feel, I feel so relaxed. 10 out of 10. Wow. That we were at is called Na Nature Life. Nature Life Spa. And I could not recommend it more. So guys, this is the car. <laughs> How beautiful is it? Wow, it's actually stunning. So yeah, we're just going home now and then we have dinner later. So we need to zoom because we are so late already. Dinner is at seven and it's currently 
nearly five o'clock. We haven't made the home yet, I'm not ready, I haven't done my makeup. Pray for us. I think we should roll out the women for now, cause we're falling apart. It's a beat, it's a beat, baby. It's a beat. So, we are ready now, going on the way to dinner. Look how cute he looks. You look Thank good, you. boy. Thank you, baby. Couple of the year award. Couple of the year, yeah. Nah, that's a picture. Someone's parents, you know. <gasps> One day. Someday. <laughs> Not anytime soon. <laughs> so on our way to dinner now, in the Rolls Royce Ghost. <laughs> um, I feel so pretty. Oh my god, the curls came out so good. The beat. Oof, get into the beat, baby. Get into the beat. So yeah, on the way. How long do you reckon it will take? Like 20 minutes? 25. 25 minutes to get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm excited. I actually don't know where we're going. Again, I. This whole trip has just been me not knowing where we're going or what we're doing. After today, it's all, it's all on me now. It's all on me? Uh, yeah, I think I've done um, a bit. He has. You've done so well. He's actually booked the majority of things we're doing. And normally in the friendship group, I am the one that always organizes everything and it's so stressful. So thank you. Appreciate you. Love you. You're welcome, baby. So yeah, mm -hmm. I'll show you guys when we get to dinner. I'm sure it'll be cute. Oh my God. <laughs> Is that me? Like some paparazzi, that's so funny. Beautiful mm -hmm. hotel. I can't even deal. Is it through here? I don't know. Is it through the pool? Around the pool? I don't know. Yeah. Wow, I'm literally blown away. This is so beautiful. Wow. Babe, we need to stay here next time. Oh my gosh, how much is this gonna be a night? A thousand pounds a night? Probably more. Wow, Ooh, the lighting, honey. Wow, we. I'm obsessed. This place is amazing. Mm -hmm. We've just arrived at this dinner. It's actually a private dinner. I'm literally shook right now. We just was walking, walking. I was, uh, we walked past the restaurant. I thought, oh, why are we walking past the restaurant? It's the restaurant. And then he took us to this private part of the beach, and it's like, but this really beautiful, like like cabana like and it's just us two and i can see the Burj al arab over there look at this like bro what is going on you guys <laughs> i feel like i'm dreaming wow thank you jesus men are not trash guys men are not trash <laughs> This is the second course. Um, it's going to be a seven course meal, which I'm very excited about. It looks really tasty. I don't even know what this is. I might even go cut. <laughs> but it looks tasty. I'm just taking in the vibe, taking in the view.
to go home but apparently my fiance <laughs> has another surprise for me and I don't know what's going on we pulled up to the Burj the Burj Khalifa I think there's Amani hotel that's what he said to the valet so apparently we're going to the Amani hotel bar I think it looks so beautiful look at this Ali. so this is the Burj Khalifa stunning Look, it's like a light show. What the heck? This is gorgeous. Guys, I'm gonna tell you the full story later, but right now I'm just overwhelmed and I just cannot believe that this is my life and this is happening right now. Like, I genuinely am flabbergasted. flabbergasted. This boy is not a good liar, so I don't understand how he went my behind my back. Apparently my whole family knew. Apparently he went to my mom's house with my entire family and I didn't know. How did I not know? I'm just shook to the core, but I'm so happy. I'm obsessed with this ring. Like, whoa. Oh my God. Oh my God, what? <laughs> oh my God. 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 look at me properly because <laughs> I've literally cried all my makeup off but what a night what a night I just can't believe I just can't believe this is my reality like I've literally sobbed so much my head is hurting but um I just feel so grateful to God like this could not have happened without Jesus Christ himself because baby the streets were getting cold now the streets are a thing of the past like i'm i'm so ready to say see you and see you later sayonara to the streets because baby girls are healthy i'm so so ecstatic beyond it's like today when beyond my wildest dreams like you know when you, you see stuff in movies and it's like oh one day you know that could happen to me but i wouldn't even like i wouldn't even have dreamt this up to the day that i had today it was amazing shout out to my boo for executing the best night ever we also had a zoom call with my parents and like all our family there's like 25 people just waiting for us in the zoom call to say congratulations i can't believe everybody knew everyone knew but me like even my own sister that's how you know people, people will go behind your back and you never even know people can lie ah today i experienced something else like my own sister that i live with she didn't even give me she like not even an inch not even an ounce so I'm just, wow, it was a beautiful surprise. And I'm just so grateful. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep tonight because I'm just so excited. I feel like tomorrow, I know I look crazy, don't worry, it's fine. But I deserve, but yeah, tomorrow, I just feel like it's gonna be surreal when I wake up and see this on my finger again. How good did he do, guys? Like, this is literally my dream ring. It's the diamond for me, poo. <laughs> But yeah, oh, love is sweet, man. Love is sweet to you. Yeah, I don't know if I really explained the um how he did it properly. 
So we're sitting out here at dinner and then there was like a photographer and he was like, oh, don't worry, like the hotel told me that they're doing promotion tonight. So we're gonna get some discount fire bill because they're taking photos and videos. So I was like, hmm, interesting. But then I was like, whatever, like, cause he had told me like he was gonna do it like next year. And I just, in my head, it was gonna be next year. So I didn't even really have it in my mind. And then a saxophone player like comes out on our second course meal. Like, so this place was like a cabana um, in the middle of the beach. It was like a private um, cabana, just me and him. And like those petals, those candles, it was oh, <laughs> something that you'd see like on Pinterest. Like, oh. So yeah, and then a saxophone player came with a speaker and he was playing our favorite song um, on the speaker and he was like, Saxophoning, saxophone playing it on top. And I was just like, what is going on right now? And the photographers and videographers came again. And I was like, what the heck is he doing? He's about to pop the question. Is he about? To? I was like, no way. And then he played our other favorite song by Ed Sheeran. And then he was like, let's dance, babe. And I was like, oh my God, I was literally, this was me. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was shaking like a leaf. I was like, this is this can't be happening right now. What is going on? Like I'm in the middle of a beach in Dubai under a cabana, like under the stars, the view of the of the Dubai skyline. I was uh, by the beach, I already said that. <laughs> like um by the water. And I was just like, this can't be my life right now. And then he was like, he bent down on one knee and I was just sobbing. Like I don't even even know, I don't even know if I said yes because I was literally like, <laughs> yeah. like it was ah uh, that cry. He, he actually videoed it, so hopefully I can put a clip in here. But I know the cry was ugly, but it's bound to happen. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, so yeah, that happened, and then and then we just had like a good ten minutes of just like hugging and just like crying and just like just going over it and then we um they brought out some more courses i couldn't even eat any more food i was just like so shocked my body i think was like in shock mode like what is actually going on with this babe like this is not normal the shaking is not normal so yeah it's just been a blur and then we came home to our family so it was just amazing like the best day of my entire life like <laughs> so grateful to god i'm gonna shower because i need to go sleep and hopefully it will help me because i don't know how i'm gonna sleep i do not know how i'm gonna sleep tonight how can I sleep? How can I sleep? How can I sleep? That's just, my head is scrambled. Everybody knew. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna go. So good night, guys. It's been an amazing, amazing night. I didn't even show my outfit properly. But this was my outfit for my first night as a fiance. Yeah, so this is my outfit. I was from House of CB. And it's super cute. But yeah, I forgot to mention actually, my friends, Grandy and my friends that are in Dubai right now, they were all waiting for us at the hotel as well. Say congratulations, so that was beautiful. And our two, so my bit, my guys, my fiance, my fiance's um, cousin and his missus flew out here because the honeymoon as well. So I think they just thought you want to kill two birds one stone. And they flew out here and we also met them at their hotel. I was just like, what I started, the waterworks were start, they started all over again. They started all over again, like it was too much. like. The, uh, the attention to detail, the, the execution like of this day has just, I can't even, I couldn't have done a better job if I dreamed. But yeah, that's enough talking for me. I've been talking for a good six minutes. But yeah, thank you guys so much. I love you all and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm gonna be talking now. Oh right, yeah, do you wanna, do you wanna go that way or like, can I help you? <laughs> next morning today is thursday and we are going on a boat it's my friend khadija's birthday so um she's a hideout boat and we're just gonna go enjoy celebrate with her um yeah it's a beautiful day in dubai and i'm really excited i think there's gonna be music to catch a vibe um get in there for like two o'clock and then if it's like two to five so we'll have a couple of hours on there uh, we I don't really have a plan for this evening do we we have dinner do you have a dinner yeah 7 30. oh why is everything 7 30 I can't get ready that quick so we'll have a dinner at 7 30 but I'm probably gonna push it back um yeah so we'll show you guys what we get up to on the boat <laughs> heard Guys, <laughs> this is gorgeous. This is so cute. I We're moving. This is my life. I'm the captain. I'm the captain.
captain. I'm the captain. But you got there as well. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, wow. No, that's boy. <laughs> we won. We, really we won. actually won. We did that. Today is Friday then, it's Saturday, Sunday walk. So basically, today we are going, going parasailing today. Oh, this boy has got me doing excursions, bro. Yeah, that, like you don't wanna do it. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going on a boat and then we're gonna be parasailing um, at the Dubai Harbour. We're here right now and it's so stunning. There's loads of really nice yachts here and it's a beautiful day. And then we're gonna go to the palm and just chill. I finally have a chilled day, my kind of day, um, at the palm, get some food, get some cocktails, and just have a nice chilled out day. Uh, oh, the sun on my skin right now. Baby looks really nice. Let me show you guys his outfit. I said, mm, no, turn around this way actually. This is the harbour actually, it's so beautiful. It's like really, really nice yachts. Yeah, this is his outfit. I hope you can see it. Can you see the texture? So nice. You look cute. Lord, help me with this parasailing because I'm scared, child. I hope it's not too high. Wait, what, but this, what if they say you have to go on your own? On my own? No. We have to get that? together. Did you no, I'll just watch you. <laughs> but um, yeah. Walking on the Dubai Harbour. Cute! We just got on the little boat to take us to the parasailing. <sighs> I'm so nervous with this, guys. But apparently, we don't get wet, so that's a bonus. We don't get wet at all. Yeah. This is the little yellow boat, like a banana boat. Better than a yacht. Better than a yacht. Better than a yacht. Yeah. I'm not bad all each. Eh? Yeah. On the banana boat. I'm bricking it. Mm. Bricking it. Yeah. But I think we get to go together as well, so that's alright. Yeah, oh my god. Okay, it's not gonna go fast, not a speedboat. It's not a speedboat. Woo! It is a speedboat, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they lied to us. Oh. And it's so bumpy. Oh my god. Hey, there she been noticing. Wow guys, that was epic. Can't believe we did that. That was so amazing. Highly recommend. We were literally on that huge ass parasail in the sky in the middle of the ocean. Woo! Incredible scenes. So now we're just on this boat and then we're getting driven back and then we're going to the beach to chill because I've had enough adventure for one day, thank you very much. <laughs> Can't 
So guys, we're home now, and um, we just decided to have a chill day because we've literally been coming home so late every night. And tonight we're just gonna chill on the balcony, just vibes. We're gonna play this game that we ha I found. Um, we're just gonna have a little karaoke, our own little fun karaoke night on the balcony, and just vibes and go to sleep early so we can just have an early start tomorrow because we've been sleeping late and waking up so early. So yeah, we're just chilling. But pretty taught me all the lessons. Pretty at me giving more than I was getting. So pretty don't come with something. So yeah, that's really the end of tonight. Tomorrow we yeah, we've got four more days of Dubai, so we're gonna try and make the most of it. But I'm gonna miss this place so much. It's honestly more than I expected. This is the first time I'm hearing police sirens. Really? Apparently Dubai is like the safest place in the world. The safest city in the world. Because they have like um mad laws and like mad uh, punishment if you get caught for like doing anything so yeah apparently it's really safe apparently people literally don't lock their doors um when they like leave apparently like even if you leave your phone on the beach people don't take it so yeah i've been feeling, feeling really safe huh <laughs> um babe's gonna try it out tomorrow <laughs> he's gonna to leave his phone on the beach and see if he is taken or not after that, I think you should leave for like a couple of hours, yeah. Experiment. Yeah, experiment. So we'll do that tomorrow and see if it's true, <laughs> if this myth is true or not. Um, but yeah. Good night. Hey, card number three of the holiday. <laughs> These guys are actually crazy. <laughs> it's the Bentley for me. How do you feel about yourself? I'm feeling way too good about myself right now. Feeling way too sexy. I'm too sexy for this. A Bentley child. Anyway. <laughs> wow, this is beautiful. Today we're at Cove Beach. At Caesars Palace. And guys, the cars I'm seeing on this trip are, it's just brazy to me. It's Ferrari. It's a Bentley. Another Bentley, our Bentley, a Lambo truck. It's actually insane. But yeah, we're just here today for lunch and vibes. So guys, we're in Cove Beach now. And we've got a beautiful cabana. Um, by... And this is our view right now. Um, I was saying that I feel like a wag in this city. With my man driving around in a Bentley truck getting cabanas yeah this is just this is the life i want to live like this every day oh there's a show there's about to be a show so i'll show you guys that So far, wow.
guys so it's been a couple of days and i hope you guys enjoyed that dubai vlog um sorry for the bit of an abrupt ending essentially the last couple of days of the vlog you would have seen we went shopping um at the dubai mall we had dinner at this beautiful restaurant um um while watching the fountain show and i highly recommend that restaurant it was amazing and then we had brunch at Sarah Beth's, which is um, a really, really nice spot as well, but I highly recommend. I'll try and leave everything that we went to that I'd recommend in the description because there was so much to get through. But yeah, you might have noticed that I'm in a different setting right now. Yeah, a lot has happened in the past few days. So um, I didn't really vlog much just because it was very hectic, but you guys will find that out in the next vlog. I am still in Dubai and it's been, it's just been a lot, but yeah nonetheless like this trip has been the best trip of all time like i can't even imagine how any other trip is going to top this trip like i've had so many amazing memories here um obviously i'm leaving a fiance <laughs> i'm wearing it on this finger because it doesn't quite fit my ring finger but we're going to get it adjusted when i get back to the uk pp but yeah, so it's been an amazing trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did try and kind of enjoy myself while trying to vlog. It was a bit of hard to kind of balance it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog anyway. And yeah, tune into my next vlog to see what happened these past few days. And yeah, um, still some great footage to go. Like I'm still in Dubai, so I'll let you guys know all of that. But yeah, make sure to subscribe, like this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next one.